Hi, how you doing everybody? My name is Steve Fulton. Now this is Real Magic Review where I try and find the good tricks that we can enjoy doing, enjoy working on and enjoy performing. This is Unorthodox by Antonio Martinez and Alakazam. Before we get on with it, you know the drill. Please like, it makes all the difference. Please subscribe, it makes loads of difference. Please share it, that makes an amazing amount of difference. And please go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. Sign up for that and it's a brilliant way to support the channel. Uh, just quickly, there is a Patreon account as well. If some people have said that they wanna support it just with a donation, uh, that's great. It's not expected, this is free, but you know, you gotta get it where you can. So it's, the links will be below, but it's patreon.com forward slash real magic review. But again, the, the Card Magic Course is just so good at the moment. I mean, there's so much on it I'm very very proud of it and loving working on it and the community is just so lovely giving very generous brilliant so uh, I saw this at, uh, at Blackpool and it's it's interesting isn't it because someone says it, it, by the way it's an invisible deck and if you're new to the game and you don't know what invisible deck is loads of people do it it's a it's a gimmick deck of cards and you can only really do that trick with it but someone says um, any card at all, and it can be anything, you open a deck, spread through it, and there's one card turned the other way, and it is the card they named, and you can, it's a genuine any card, and I know a lot of you know that, but I just like to do that for those that don't. So why, need, why do we need another one? Well, if we need another one, we need it to be different and feel different, and this does. So this is the invisible deck with Uno cards. Now, Uno cards, <laughs> I bought the empty box out, I'd show you, but you, you know what Uno cards look like, and have a look at the trailer, I'll put it, I'll put it up there, but, um, but it's the same trick, kind of. You name a card, go through it, and it does. But there's a normal card in amongst a deck of Uno cards, which is, again, it feels different. It's like there's the wrong card in there. It's not one that's faced the other way. So, so the difference is that it don't, even though clearly it's a card trick, it doesn't feel like a card trick. It's really colourful. So you know, colours make people feel a certain way, and when they see all those colours, they feel different than when you get a deck of cards out. I'm not saying that's a good or bad thing. It's a different thing. So for certain situations, it's going to be, it's going to feel very different. Peter Nardi does uh, his presentation is that he puts the cards in a different box, um, brings his card deck of cards out, normal deck of cards, opens them up and goes, "Oh, my kids put the, my kids put the, the you know cards in there." Okay, we'll work with this. Now, I think that's brilliant. I think it gives it if you can if you can really sell that as in, uh, okay, you know, not as in here's a presentation. I think it gives it quite a lot of power because then you go through it. Oh, he's left a, he's left one card in there. It's the card that you named. So again, it, you, there's there's a few layers on this that it isn't just an people aren't going to say oh there's a trick turn around the card turn around in, in the they're not going to say sorry. Oh, I saw a card trick today. They're going to say, I saw this trick with Uno cards. So that's, I think, justifies it. To me, it really does. The good point is it's very easy, easier. Not that the invisible deck is difficult, but it's easier than that. Um, it's colourful. It feels happy. It feels joyous. It, for people with kids, it's great. It's going to work with your wedding, and there's lots of people sitting around a table. Uh, with kids, you're going to be able to do that at some point. Um, so, and it's fun to do. It feels fun. It's also really well made. The cards are really heavy. They're going to last you. They're not going to get old. It's treated slightly differently than an invisible deck. And that's all I'll say, which means it, it feels maybe a bit more robust. Um, and the card that you hand out to them, excuse me, um, isn't treated, if you see what I mean. So it's a card that they don't get. So, so that's fine. And, and the card you hand out to them is, is examinable. Bad points, well there's no bad points really, but the biggest challenge people are going to have with it, especially if they used to do an invisible deck, is that it, it's not quite as fair. You have to go through one stage first. Now arguably, or you can take a gamble with it, but there's one, it, it, it's not every single card, that's all I say. So there's one stage you have to go through, I think it will fly, I've got no issue with it at all. As a magician we go, oh it's not as fair because you haven't named any card, but to them they're going to remember naming any card and there's a way around that, uh, there's a couple of ways around it, you can do it I think as Antonio does it, I think he actually uses two decks or, or has done it with two decks, but that might be a, a possibility in the future apparently. Um, but I, it just doesn't bother me, I'm, I'm happy that it hasn't, it loses that bit of fairness. It's, you're weighing it up aren't you, again, you've got that whole presentational idea that it gives you, that whole different feeling to that one chink in, in the strength of it. Um, but again, not a problem for me, but you've got to know. Other than that, 
nothing nothing at all no other issues with it if you like the effect you're going to like it i really like that it's got that that card mixed up with it it's a nice aesthetic uh, so that is unorthodox by antonio martinez and alakazam i'll put all the links below thank you to them for giving it to me thank you you for watching it stay safe check out cardmagiccourse.com loads of stuff on there at the moment and it's growing pretty much every week at the moment and please like and subscribe Thanks very much indeed. Oh, Instagram at Real Magic Review. There you go. That's the end of the silly stuff at the end. Bye.